Brand Building in St. Paul, it's the Haberdasher's Couch, starring Jaime along with Dorset. This is Kendrick inviting you to join Jaime and our guest, Todd Walker. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Jaime. Tell you what, say we got a great show from you for you today, live from the Haberdasher's couch, where you don't have to pay somebody to listen to you. Dorset, <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on out here, come on out here. This is Dorset. Any pretty? So anyway, hey Keith, guess what? Guess what? The other day, I threw a boomerang. You ever throw a boomerang? A boomerang in the park the other day. Everybody's out hanging out in the parks, and I'm, I threw a boomerang the other day for the first time. Mm -hmm. It didn't come back. <laughs> you know now I'm living in constant fear. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> tell you what, we've got a wonderful show for you today. Guess who's uh, guess who's our guest? Who? Well, the Todd About Town, Todd Walker, the foodie and entertainment guy Love that of guy. the town. Love, Love that, guy. that guy. I tell Hello, you, he's going to be here awesome today guy. talking about travel. You yes. know, everybody's canceling their vacations, yeah. but they're spending their money yeah. on RVs. So we're going to find out just why they're doing it. Uh, RV? RV, uh, recreational vision. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I thought it was something else. Enjoy the show. The you deserve it. <laughs> oh. Hi. There's lots of reasons to say why. I say, why not? Why not indulge at Heimie's? Great show for you today. We have a special guest. But first, I want to check in with you, Keith. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Yeah. Friday, beautiful Friday. Long, and, uh, long was, business week. Yeah, we had some wonderful people in the day. Thank goodness. We moved some suits. Yes. We pressed some clothes. Yeah, yeah. We absolutely. sewed some seams. Yeah. Made, made some money. Made some new friends. That's right. So it's always a wonderful thing. So yeah, yeah. it's great. I'm feeling excellent looking, going, looking to going into the weekend. Now, didn't you weren't didn't you plan a trip uh, to go away? I did. And then those trip that trip got canceled because because of right COVID nineteen because where we're at right. Yeah. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out what people are doing with their time and with their unspent dollars. Now, I've been thinking and I've been reading that people are buying RVs now. Ooh. They're taking that money and they're spending it on vacation with wheels. They're staying close to home. Uh, and so we're gonna, we're gonna talk with Todd Walker, who, who just took an RV trip. I just took an RV trip. Huh. It, so I that, need to take an RV trip. You do. Get a retro if I'll you get find one. A, I'll a retro find out camper, from Todd. They are pretty cool. Todd has all the knowledge. I'm I tell Todd. you what, why don't we bring Todd out huh. and have a conversation. Looking forward to it. All right, come on now, Todd. Gentlemen, gentlemen, who do you think works in men's clothing? You guys are or me. We're talking, we're, we're, talking about dress. we're talking about travel. <laughs> yeah. And do you travel in that or do you travel in this? You right? travel in this. Exactly. He's got exactly. I got the flip flops on. on. Keep the muscle wear. Get this guy a pedicure, yeah. man. You hey, know, come on. I did just get one. After the show, we'll get you a pedicure. I did just get one recently. Oh, yeah. it it, 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 this is different. Yep. It's, it's nice to have you here. Well, I, it's great seeing the two of you. I've known you both for a number of years. And when you called up and said you were doing this yep. show and we were going to talk travel, I was like, I'm in, man. Well, we're going to sure. talk a little bit about my travel, some of right. the places. I have not been on a plane since uh, March. And I used to go about every six right. weeks doing stories for different uh, publications. And right. So I've been, I've been kind of uh, homeward bound. Yeah, are people, are people uh, I know that they just came out, the CDC just came out with some new information on airline travel, which we can talk about uh, here in a bit. Tell me about your RV trip. What? I didn't know you RV. No, I, well, I mean, being a travel writer and, of course, a TV reporter and a radio guy, uh, I have been really itching to travel and do something. So I got in an RV because my dad has an RV. Couldn't find one to rent. Couldn't find one to get at all. And so uh, my best buddy and I got in an RV, went all the way to Albuquerque to where his dad lives. And, but here's the, here's the kicker. Halfway down, we picked up his four children. Hmm. The youngest is four years old. The oldest is 12 years old. I don't have any children, as you guys know. Mm -hmm. And so I traveled in an RV with four kids. Now, Ooh, this, is a, this is one you can drive. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's a Class A See, I just, RV. I just have two wheels. No, no, no. Yeah. This is a 25-foot box. 
wild. Yeah. So um, that was quite the adventure. Yeah, it sounds like it with a four-year-old. Yeah, yeah. four-year-old. Oh. And of course, I'm not much for driving. I drive a scooter, so uh, okay. my buddy Andy drove the entire entire time. But that mean that meant I was doing this, getting up and down, taking care of the kids, right. feeding them food. And what right. is the, and what does the grandma decide that she's going to make? That's for the kids. Soup. So I am standing there getting the soup, and every time I'd say to them, what do you guys want to eat? And I'd go through the whole menu of items, and then I would hope they wouldn't pick soup. So then I'd go, I'd take the soup out of these big vats, pour it in the little bowl, and then the microwave, <laughs> putting it in the You're microwave, right. doing this right. the whole time, and yeah. then feeding it to the kids yeah. on the sofa. Yeah. That was that was While some... going 55 miles an hour. Yes, from, know, here to, from here to Albuquerque. So that un- was quite a long trip. Unbelievable. Now, was that camper... The camper that you had been in when you were a kid? No. no. Okay. I'd never been in it. My okay. dad bought it, yeah. never used it, right. let it sit. He just said we're kind of on a whim and bought a, an RV. But yeah. honestly, right now, if you're trying to find RVs, it's, it's, it's really it's really difficult. So this was the best way for us to get That's it. the next question is, how do, you, how do you guarantee that you got a place to stay once you get to your destination? Well, uh, we pre-booked everything at KOA Campground. So have you ever been to a KOA Campground? I, I have not. Have you? All of these KOAs, RVs, I don't even know what they mean, so you know I haven't been there. Do they have, do they have RVs in the Bahamas? <laughs> KOA is Campgrounds of America, so we booked those all the way in advance. But here's the deal. We were there during Sturgis. So let me just tell you the wow. um, yeah, the grooming tech, the grooming of people in the morning when you are using a public facility because you all showered <laughs> in the same place. And oh, I'm standing God. there with Sturgis guys on each side of me, about triple my size, really, honestly, big long beards and the whole bit. And the, the, the personal care is a little bit different. So I, at one point, I thought, well, I've got a long day of traveling ahead of me. I haven't been getting my hair cut for a while. So I just pulled out something at, like a spray-in conditioner and the side eyes I got from the guys in the bathroom that, yeah. were, that, were, right. that were getting ready that morning, right. they're like, what is this guy doing? Trust me. <laughs> that was a little bit different. Yeah. Never a good morning. It's more of a, uh, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, that's the kind of things. But the KOAs were great. I went to Devil's Tower in uh, Devil's Tower, Wyoming. Right. And if you, if you haven't ever been there, that was quite an adventure. I went to the Sand Dunes, uh, to great na- uh, the National Park, Sand Dunes National Park, which was pretty amazing. And I went to uh, the monument, so I did right. Mount Rushmore. And it's, a lot of those places I hadn't been to maybe since I was a, a little kid, and mm-hmm. I didn't remember them at all. So we hit all those places. The KOAs were, we did in advance, went through Sturgis, didn't get out. Right. But, uh, you know, with all the COVID things going around. But right. did you, is that the direction you went to? Yeah, well, no, I, so, so I went to the opposite side of the world. I went to up north. Uh, to the Boundary Waters. Oh, you did? Yeah, so I stayed in um, off of Lake Superior, okay. which it was cool every single night. But I, I tell you what, I've never seen so many people in all my life yeah. RVing. Brand new campers, young young couples pulling up with their kids, and the all the guy's doing is swearing because he doesn't know how the jacks work or he doesn't know how the leveler works. It's his first time. Yeah. These people are in these RVs for the first time. So you got to get used to it. And setting you up the sewer? Set, because, set, set, yeah. I, why do I get the poop yeah. duty? That's yeah. what I want to know. Yeah. I, I, that, See, so now I'm having second thoughts yeah. about this RV thing. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm Oh, I did. Once drive get, my once, bicycle. Once you get past the poop, <laughs> yeah, it's it's when they say all downhill from there. Yeah. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, oh, you're fine. Yeah, and four kids, and the and uh, the grandmother made about three dozen burritos. Yeah. Put that all together. <laughs> this sounds like. Yeah. I tell you what, we're gonna come right back. Uh, we're gonna break away here just for a second, and we're gonna talk about your show. Welcome back to the Happy Masters Couch. Talking with Todd Walker about air travel, and you know, we did talk RVs. Now we're moving into the air and off the road. Todd, how are people uh, uh, approaching air travel, and where are they at right now with it? Well, I, I personally haven't traveled since I was in Ireland, and I saw you right, right after that. That was in March. Uh, right now, talking to my uh, my friends that are in the same business as travel writers, uh, everybody's feeling pretty much the same. They mm-hmm. feel like. You know, we have to get traveling again because what we do for a living right. uh, is writing about different destinations. And it's, it, everybody that I've talked to has said that they have felt pretty safe on the planes. 
Uh, they're, most of them are bringing their own food on the plane, not eating any of the food. It's mandatory that you have your masks on while you're sitting in your seats. They are not using the center seats in a lot of, in many of the different cases. The airports are empty. Uh, they're doing a lot of the temperature checks before you get on the plane and when you arrive at your destination. A lot of the places are also requiring that you show your negative papers mm -hmm. uh, that you have been tested recently. I know I've heard as, as long out as five days. Uh, a friend of mine landed, I believe, in LaGuardia and you had to be within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So, so we're, we're sort of still in a holding pattern. Yeah. And, and as, as the airlines are still in a holding pattern, so is the economy. Right. Um, and everybody's affected. You're affected. Mm -hmm. uh, we're affected as retailers. Right. Um, so snack foods in little zip thingies, uh, you bring them on. Water bottles, uh, empty first, and you fill yep. them when you get. Can you fill them in the plane? Uh, no, nope. I would be. There's a, there's all those spots. There, there are all those spots along. Oh, the way. after after you go, after through, you go through security, that okay. I do that anyway, and you just fill up your mm -hmm. fill up your water, bring it with you, and uh, but it, people have really told me that they have felt safe. Now I have not flown, as I said, since March. I will be flying to California to do a story on Sonoma and the wine country in uh, September, mm -hmm. and that'll be my first time. So so um, when you're, are you? Are you uh, uh, pre-printing your boarding pass? Or is the boarding pass on your phone? Is uh, are you doing payless or touchless payments on off your phone? So you're loading all this stuff up, so you're you're taking precautions uh, as you're traveling with touch-free sort of. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it is so convenient now because you you can download your boarding pass right on your phone. You don't have to do any touching when you arrive at the airport in order to uh, print a boarding pass. So you can just show it to the agent and get on the plane I would do all of that everything you can before you actually get to the airport and as you said plan your own meals plan your own uh, packing I mean pack your bag I would suggest bringing a carry-on okay so you do carry on as yep. opposed to checking yeah okay. I would not do checking I mean it's just more convenient right. any well when you get off the ground and you and you go to Sonoma and you're back you got to come back yeah, and join yeah us. for sure but I hear you're going someplace else yeah I'm going um, actually on Sunday uh, that I'm leaving and I'm driving to Door County mm -hmm. a lot of the a lot of the destinations uh, have started to invite people again uh, Chicago the Upper Peninsula and they're trying to encourage people from Minnesota to continue traveling but perhaps drive to your destination. So Door County, if you haven't been there, it's, it's an amazing place. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's considered the Hamptons of, of the Midwest, and it is beautiful. I'm staying at uh, in Ephraim at Great Water uh, Bed and Breakfast. I'm doing a lot of outdoor destination uh, type events. They're putting journalists in small groups. So I'll be yeah. with like three other people, and we'll all be traveling in a pack doing our own thing. I will be driving to some of my spots and they'll be like zip lining yeah. at Door County Adventure Center, kayaking. So they're, they've really changed the way that they're having journalists visit the different cities. Yeah, I know. The, the pieces that I'm still a little bit apprehensive about is that of course when they bring journalists to these different destinations, one of the things that they want you to experience is the food and the culture. <clears throat> well, so going to different restaurants, mm. that is a big part of what we do sure. for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, the, the hosts and the sponsors want us to come back and write about the amazing food, like the fish boils are they're famous mm -hmm. for in, uh, in Door County. So I'm really going to be curious to see how they do that uh, in exposing us to the culture, exposing us to the food. Maybe, and, uh, maybe they'll have you line up, like they did at the State Fair this year, in drive through yeah, right. Could they Sample could have, of food, yeah. They drive through Door County and you're gone. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, it'll be it'll be interesting. Well, you have it'll a wonderful scooter out there. That's yeah. a, that's a gorgeous yeah. scooter. Right. Scooter wear. Scooter. 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 Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and he's already packed for Door County. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean he's wearing it. He, he's wearing it. Well, I'll tell you what, when you come I'm back, will you come back and see? Absolutely, yeah. I'll come back and I'll tell you about Door exactly. County. And uh, probably I will have returned from Sonoma, so I can tell you about those two places. Wonderful. And I'd be happy to share with some of the things that people can still do here in the Twin Cities that aren't virtual, that are events that are going on around town. Wonderful. Well, I appreciate you coming on. Thanks for having yeah, me, guys. Yeah, th great. Thanks for joining us at Happy Nashville's Couch, where you don't have to pay somebody to listen to you. Thanks for coming in.